Hi everybody, what's up? It's Molly. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome to another video. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Molly. I'm a college and lifestyle vlogger that goes to the University of Alabama. If you have been watching my videos for the past few months, I've been talking a lot about how I really wanted an iPad Pro for Christmas. And if you watched my what I got for Christmas video, if you didn't, I will link it in the description. I got one. And so today's video is a what is on my iPad Pro 2021. Um, um, I'm just really excited to share this with you guys because I have been wanting an iPad Pro for a few reasons over the last few months, honestly. A lot of my friends at school use these for their schoolwork, for notes, and for different things. And obviously because I'm juggling school, I'm in Capstone Agency, that's a lot of social media work, and also the fact that I'm a YouTuber and I'm constantly on my phone, my computer, doing things for that. I just felt like it would be something I would get a lot of use out of and I've been setting it up since Christmas and putting some apps and different things on it for a variety of different things and reasons and I just kind of wanted to sit down and show you guys what is on my iPad Pro. So as we're going to do today, I am super excited about it. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So we're going to start out with just like a brief introduction of the specific iPad that I got. So like I said, I'm going to show you guys the box if you were interested in the box. I got the iPad Pro, the most recent one, second generation, 11 inch, 120 gigabytes. I got it in the black and I got it with just Wi-Fi. I opted to not get the one with cellular data just because I feel like that adds a level of like distraction and I really want this for the most part. Obviously, I wanna be able to go on my iPad and do things like shop and do a bunch of different things like that, but I really want it to be a space for me to work, whether it's YouTube school, whatever, it maybe and then as an accessory i also got the apple pencil um this is the second gen apple pencil so it does work with this particular ipad pro um so i'm going to be screen recording once i get into the actual what's on my ipad uh, but this is kind of just a general overview of what it looks like so this case is actually an apple case and it's magnetic so the ipad is just magnetically clicked on and then the apple pencil is magnetic as well to the side of the ipad camera i don't know if you can really see it looks like that so that's just kind of a little overview of the setup and the accessories of the ipad and basically what ipad i have um i was debating between this one and the larger ipad but a lot of my friends have the 11 inch and felt like it was enough so i just decided to get that one so i'm starting the screen recording right now so we're going to start off with the home screen so the background my home screen has is the same as my lock screen i literally just pinterested like cute backgrounds and it's like a zodiac inspired one i thought that was super super cute but we're going to get into the apps that i have on here so the homepage is very similar to my iPhone homepage, which if you have not watched my what's on my iPhone, I will link that in the description if you're curious. Um, but I kind of put the apps on here that I use most frequently and also any social media I opted to have on my iPad. So calendar, just to keep track of things, clock, FaceTime, maps, camera, photos. And I didn't mention this, my phone and my iPad are linked. So all my photos and messages and everything go through the iPad as well. Even though I don't have cellular, obviously it works on Wi-Fi. Um, but they are linked. Reminders, notes, I use a ton for notes for like YouTube descriptions, lists, different things. Find my iPhone, podcasts, app store, widget smith, settings, books, news, iTunes, and then the social media I opted to have on here are LinkedIn, Facebook, Gmail, Twitter, GroupMe, and Instagram. A lot of you are probably asking, why did you not put TikTok on here? Truthfully, I use it too much and I don't think it should be on an iPad that I'm trying to like use for like productivity purposes because I would lose so much of my goal if TikTok was on here. So I didn't decide to put it on here. Truthfully, Twitter and Facebook I put on here because I use it a lot for Capstone Agency, monitoring social media and doing different things. Um, and then Instagram is the one I use for a lot of inspiration, different things. So I opted to have that on here. And at the bottom are messages, Safari and music. And then the three to the right are my last opened apps. So that is a little bit about the home screen. So moving on to the second page, I've kind of organized my pages based on like what they're for, like what the apps are for. Um, so this is my school page. So this is gonna probably fill up as I kind of realize what I need and stuff. But these are like my go-tos, the ones I feel like I've used the most, especially like over the past few semesters. Um, Google Drive, obviously a huge one. Slack is the next one and Slack is like a messaging system channel thing for like businesses and different things like that um so we use that for capstone agency alice magazine we use it for a bunch of different clubs blackboard that's where all my classes go through all my assignments and things are listed on there zoom obviously zoom online school vibes i really can't explain that much more um keynote just in case i need that 
Google Docs, Google Slides, Pages, Numbers, Google Sheets, Voice Memos, Files, and Good Notes, which Good Notes actually, my little, if you're watching this, shout out to you, she recommended this app to me for taking notes and doing a bunch of different things. Um, when school starts, I will open that up for you guys so you can see it. But basically, you can organize it into folders, notebooks, individual sheets. Um, so I have folders for all the classes I'm taking next semester that require notes, basically, because one of them is like a software thing that I'm not going to take notes for. Um, so they're all folders, and then I can add notebooks into there, which I'll eventually divide by exam. So I have notes for each exam kind of divided out. But it's super, super nice, and you can like add if you do a notebook you can select the type of paper you want and everything which i think is super awesome as well um so that is a little bit about good notes if you are looking for any particular notes app for yourself so that is all about that school page which is definitely where i'm going to spend a lot of my time so moving on to the next page this next page is my youtube page so obviously i use my computer for a bulk of my youtube work but things like uploading taking notes doing thumbnails even editing things like intros outros things that i might add in the future just to, like improve my channel those are things i can do on my ipad um so the apps i have on this page obviously youtube studio and youtube are my two biggest ones on here and those obviously i'll use the most frequently photo booth i use a lot honestly when i like forget to like add little blurbs into my videos i'll go in there and film them and then upload them into imovie intro maker i just thought that was cute kind of get some inspiration for some intros i can make myself um imovie clips and canva and canva is where I make all of my thumbnails. So that is a little bit about this YouTube page. Um, obviously, I'm still so mad about the fact I can't add like inspirational widgets and things on this page or any of the pages, honestly. Um, but that is kind of the bulk of my YouTube stuff. And as things go, maybe I'll find some new apps and things that people recommend and I will add them to it. But that is all of my YouTube page. So this next page is the fun page. And this is the page that fuels my shopping addiction. Thank you very much. These are basically my favorite shopping apps that I use. And obviously my phone has a lot more apps for this type of thing. But I just put some of my favorites on here just because I thought it'd be fun. And it would kind of give me a little bit more of like a fun feel on my iPad and just kind of give me that that stress reliever if I need it on a school day or something. Um, so my apps that I have on here. Amazon is huge for things like books, apartment things, even clothing sometimes, honestly, accessories, different stuff like that. I use Amazon for all the time. The Apple Store app, Zara, Urban Outfitters, Revolve, Lululemon, Princess Polly, and then we have Nasty Gal, Ulta, Free People, and Sephora. So those are all of those apps, and honestly, I just feel like it's kind of a good thing to remember to just balance out your productivity and your, like, giving yourself a break. I think that is super important. Obviously, I didn't put, like, TikTok on this iPad just because I knew that takes up so much time for me, and I really wanted to, like, eliminate major distractions, but I do still think, I want to emphasize, it's still important to take breaks when you need and just give yourself, like, a healthy time and don't really, like, overload yourself with work or make you work too hard too long type of thing that's my little spiel in there um but that kind of sums up this shopping page it's just like a good thing and i put that last just because i have the school page right out on the second page and then back to my main page right in front which just has a lot of my main notifications so basically once i get past the home page i feel like is really my workspace um and then i have the shopping apps obviously at the end right here so that is all about that ipad and all the different pages that i have okay you guys that is it for my what is on my ipad pro for 2021 i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to give this video a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below and be sure to comment down below some videos you want to see from me as i head back to college because i am heading back to school in just a few days so i'm really excited to get some college content out for you guys so comment down below any videos you want to see from me and i will definitely try to do them for you guys so yeah that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys next time